News this morning. We have breaking news. A truck driver is dead after a police chase that happened last night. Several law enforcement agencies were involved in this. They are investigating this morning. It all started on West Main Street in Leroy when a tractor trailer was pulled over for speeding. It then escalated quickly and ended on Lakeville Road in Geneseo. And that's where we find Josh Navarro live this morning. What can you tell us this morning, Josh? Good morning, Leah. Well, it is quite a scene here off Lakeville Road in Geneseo. You can see that that truck is still behind me. You can see their trailer is uh, leaning upwards. Uh, we just saw the Livingston County C Command Mobile Unit just leave a few moments ago. Uh, it seems like they're wrapping up their investigation that started way late last night, like around 9 o'clock. And th they've been here all throughout the overnight hours. And the Livingston County Sheriff, uh, Tom Doherty, says he's never seen something like this before. The truck driver was firing shots at deputies as the chase made its way here to Geneseo. The sheriff says once the driver entered Livingston County, it was around 9 p.m. They used spikes to try to slow him down, but the driver continued and started to aggressively to ram the patrol cars. An emergency alert was issued to residents in the area saying Livingston County is currently in pursuit of a tractor trailer 390 southbound from Geneseo. Now, Doherty says the suspect began firing his weapon out of the vehicle's window near Route 20 and exit 8 on 390 and fire multiple rounds at officers. We're told many patrol cars were riddled, but thankfully no one was hurt. Doherty said deputies with long guns took shots at the truck, which eventually crashed here off Lakeville Road. The driver uh, did die, but how he died, if it was shots from deputies or himself, the, sh uh, the sheriff wouldn't say. Here's what he had to say moments after. This is not a common thing. Um, certainly in, in my time in police work, this, this is something I've never seen before. Again, we were most concerned about civilians on the roadways because he had no regard for human life, weaving this semi all over both lanes, uh, specifically at our patrol cars. I, again, he, he was purposely trying to, to hurt cops tonight, and um, ultimately this is how it ended. Now, we're still waiting a word on the name of the driver. You can see some of the uh, investigators here wrapping up their investigation on scene, but still a very lengthy investigation to try to determine a motive of all of this. Uh, once we were getting off the exit from 390 off exit 8, we did see a lot of state patrols along the overpass. Uh, there was a part, uh, apparently, that's still part of this investigation. So they closed off that area or blocked off a portion of of the overpass off exit 8 on 390. If you're driving by there and you see a lot of patrols, that's what's going on. Still an active scene out here. They still have the caution tape, the crime tape around this perimeter. For now, that is the very latest here in Geneseo. I'm Josh Navarro, News 8. Oh, such a scary situation you described there, Josh. Thank you so much for that update. We are expecting to learn much more as the investigation is ongoing. We'll keep you posted both here on air and online at rochesterfirst.com.